1892, the railway reached Wakefield. The once remote village welcomed a new era. At the grist mill, the old millstones were replaced with modern steel rollers. The new machinery sifted out the coarser portion of the grains. McLaren's now marketed a fine bleached flour, complete with modern preservatives, a product designed to meet the rising demand for fashionable white bread. And the new flour greeted the new century in a new light. A generator transformed the rush of the river into a current of electricity, and the mill and the general store were awash in electric light. Wakefield hummed and whirred through the Edwardian era. In the summer, four trains a day transported tourists to the town's three hotels and numerous boarding houses. But the village as modern as white bread and electric lights still lacked a few essentials, like firefighting equipment. And when an enemy as old as time sparked to life, the bucket brigade was no match. There had been fires before, but none as destructive as the fire of 1910. The McLaren complex was reduced to a charred shadow of its past. Newspaper accounts told of the bell atop the woolen mill crashing into the flames, tolling in accents disconsolate, the nail of the establishment. Much of the complex would never rise from the ashes. Only the gristmill was rebuilt. But even with its capacity doubled to 200 barrels of flour a day, the Wakefield mill paled in significance when compared to the 10,000 barrel output of the enormous mills in Montreal. Nevertheless, throughout the 1920s, copper cars laden with western grain kept arriving and the roller mills were kept busy. Operations slowed down during the Great Depression and flour milling ceased in the early 1940s. About the same time, the McLaren General Store was destroyed by fire. The McLaren's Wakefield operations came to an end. The mill was sold to J.P. Henderson. He had ambitious plans for the century-old mill, but the times were not right and they never materialized. But chains caught up to the Wakefield mill. Modern means with modern times. Once the lifeblood of this town willed to live but slip behind will to live but slip behind the storage area was converted into apartments heat and light were generated by water power but it was light work for la Pêche, which in its time had powered the thriving mclaren complex a few years later the grinding of feed resumed when ken and ernie young worked the mill the grinding of feed for local farmers continued until 1980 when both the Youngs and the mill retired. The house on the hill looks down As McLaren's mill stands silent now But clear the dust away Yes, the mill will work again As the water rushes down by the Wakefield mill Oh, can you hear the rumble and the roar Soon the mill will be working again Rolling mill will whirl once more Rolling mill will turn once more Turn, turn again Once it had been the center of a burgeoning community A focal point, solid as its walls and its faith in the future Time has passed by the Wakefield mill, but it still stands wearing time with elegance and grace, a monument to the courage, strength, and faith of those who came before, who built better than they knew because they built for posterity. Water rushes down by the Wakefield Mill. Oh, can you hear the rumble and the roar? Soon the mill will be working again. Rolling mills will whirl once more Rolling mills will 
turn once more, turn, turn again. Time passes by, Wakefield Mill. These walls will have their stories then. A boom, a bust, a fire and change. Yet these walls have weathered them. Rolling mills will turn again, turn, turn.